Okay, guys, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Uh, do subscribe Engineers Academy if you haven't subscribed it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem from Chapter Nine, Hemostatics. The problem says that locate the centroid x bar and y bar of the shaded area. So we have to find the x and y coordinate of the centroid of this uh, blue shaded area. So to find the centroid, we need to divide uh, this composite area or this irregular area into uh, some known shapes, right? So we can divide it into a triangle, then a square, and then a semicircle, right? And then uh, this is a quarter circle, and then the semicircle, and this semicircle will be the negative area. So to find the x bar and y bar, uh, since we know that, x bar is equal to the summation of x theta times area of each uh, element or each shape divided by the total area and similarly y bar is the summation of y tilde y tilde is the y coordinate of the centroid of each shape multiplied by the area of each shape divided by the total area so to apply these two equations, we need to develop a table. So we need to write the shape number and then the area of each shape and then the x coordinate of the centroid of each shape and then the y coordinate of the centroid of each shape. Then we need to take the product of this x tilde times the area and then the product of y tilde times area. So now let's say that this triangle is shape one or segment one of this area. This square is let's say segment two and this quarter circle is segment three and that semicircle is segment four. So I will write one, two, three and four. And then uh, the area of a triangle. So the area of a triangle is one divided by two base into height. So 1 divided by 2 and the base is 3 and this height is 3 since the this radius is 3. So this is 3. So this is 3 as well, right? So 1 divided by 2, 3 into 3. So this is 9 divided by 2, which is 4.5. That is 4.5 and the units will be since this the units are in inches. So the units of the area will be inches square. So this is 4.5 inch square. Then uh, the centroid of the uh, this triangle is will be located somewhere here and as we know that this distance this distance is this this length 3 divided by 3 right so this is 3 divided by 3 so this is 1 right so this distance is 1 inch so from this origin uh, this distance is the x coordinate of the centroid of the triangle that is x tilde of this shape 1. So this is uh, 3 plus 1. So that is 4 inches. So x tilde is 4. And then, and as we can see that this is the positive x-axis. So this is the negative x-axis. So we have to write minus. And then as we know that this height, this is also this length or this dimension of the triangle divided by 3. So this is 3. And again, 3 divided by 3 is 1. So this is 1. So this is the y coordinate of the centroid of this shape 1 and that is equal to 1 inch. So we will write this as 1. Similarly, uh, we can find the product. Uh, we need to multiply this so 4.5 into 4.5 into 4. So that is 18. So x tilde times a this is 18 and this is minus right. So that is minus 4 into 4.5 so that is 18. And then uh, this 1 into 4.5, so that is 4.5. So let me construct this table first. This is so now the area of the square that is the shape number 2. So the area of this is 3 by 3, so that is 9, 9 inch square. And its centroid will be at its geometric center. So this height will be, this will be 3 divided by 2 since this total height of the square is 3. So that is 3 divided by 2. This is 1.5 and this is 1.5. So this is the x tilde for shape number 2. 
so we can write that this is 1.5 and that is in the negative x so we will write that this is minus 1.5 and this is the y tilde for the shape number 2 or the segment 2 that is 1.5 and that is in the positive y so we will write plus 1.5 and now uh, 1.5 into 9 1.5 multiplied by 9 this gives us minus 13.5 since this is minus so this is minus 13.5 and this 1.5 into 9 is plus 13.5. Similarly, shape number 3, that is the quarter circle. So, its area is, is we know that the area is pi r square for the complete circle. And it is the quarter circle, so we need to divide it by 4. And the radius is 3, so this is pi into 3 square. So, this is 9 pi divided by 4. So, 9 pi divided by 4 and this gives us let me write it is 9 divided by 4 pi this is 9 divided by 4 pi in square and the centroid of a quarter circle from the table i have copied that from the table so that is this distance is 4r divided by 3 and this distance is 4r divided by 3 so the centroid of this quarter circle is somewhere here and this distance is 4r divided by 3 from this figure so we can write that that is 4r divided by 3 and r is 3 and this is positive right this is in the positive x so r is 3 so 3 divided by 3 will cancel uh, cancel out so we will be left with 4 and remember that this is 4r divided by 3 pi right this is 4r divided by 3 pi and r is 3 this is 3 so 3 will cancel out so we will be left with 4 divided by pi so this is 4 divided by pi in the positive x and then in the positive y we have that same 4 r divided by 3 pi and again r is 3 so 3 will cancel so we will be left with 4 by 4 divided by pi in the positive y direction. Now if I multiply this 4 divided by pi into 9 divided by 4 pi so pi will cancel out and 4 will cancel so we will be left with 9. So x tilde time a is 9 and y tilde times a is also 9 and now the fourth uh, shape is the fourth shape is that semicircle this semicircle and we will subtract this area since the blue shaded area is this right so we need to subtract this the area of this semicircle so the area of the semicircle is pi r square divided by 2 and now the radius of the semicircle is 1 inch so that is pi into 1 square divided by 2 so that is pi divided by 2 so I will write this is pi divided by 2 and this is the negative area we have to subtract it now its centroid will be somewhere here and from this uh, table or from this diagram we can say that that is 4r divided by 3 pi so this height is this is 4r divided by 3 pi and now the r is 1 so this is 4 divided by 3 pi and as we can see that this is in on the y axis so its x coordinate is 0 so i will write that this is 0 and the y coordinate is 4 divided by 3 pi so now if the product of x tilde time a so this is 0 into this so this will give us 0 and this is minus pi divided by 2 so minus pi divided by 2 into 4 divided by 3 pi so pi will cancel out and this is 2 so this is 2 divided by 3 so this is 2 divided by 3 now we need to add up uh, this this the product of x tilde time a we need to add up this column so that will be the summation of x tilde time a let me write that here that is x summation of x tilde time a so that is minus 18 minus 18 minus 13.5 plus 9 so this gives us minus 22.5 minus 22.5 and the units will be since this is in inches this is in inches so inches into inch square so this is inch cube and this is inch cube so this is inch cube similarly we need to add up this so the summation of y tilde times a so that is 4.5 uh, plus 13.5 plus 9 
plus 9 and, and this will be minus. So, this into this is minus, right? That is minus 2 divided by 3. So this is minus 2 divided by 3 and this gives us 26.33. So, this is 26.333 inch cube. So, now the this is X tilde formula. So, in X tilde we need to put this. This is minus 22.5 divided by the total area. So, we have to sum this as well, right? So, if we sum this, that will be the total area, this blue shaded area. So, that is the summation of the area and that is 4.5, 4.5 plus 9 plus 9 pi divided by 4 minus pi divided by 2 and this will give us 18.99. So, it is approximately 19 inch square. This is 19 inch square. So, this is minus 22.5 divided by 19. So, x tilde, sorry, x bar of the centroid of the whole shape is uh, minus 22.5 divided by 19. So, this is minus 1.18 minus 1.18 and this is inch cube divided by inch square so that gives us the units in inches and similarly this is y tilde times a so that is 26.33 divided by the total area that is 19 so 26.33 divided by 19 and this gives us uh, 1.385 that is y bar is 1.385 or we can say that that is 1.39 inches. So, now uh, the centroid of this composite shape is at minus 1.18 and, and that is somewhere here, right? So, that is the centroid and this is x bar and this is x bar and this is minus 1.18 from this origin and this is y bar which is 1.39 inches. So, this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Let me know in the comments if it helps in your learning. Also, subscribe Engineers Academy if you haven't subscribed it yet.